Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday. So that is where the green and red line annotations are coming from. And wanna get things updated here. Um, and this chart's a little tricky to talk about because there's a lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you are a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within, I don't know, 20 minutes, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty bad. Now, if you care about the big picture of things, I get it. From the highs, there was a pretty big pullback. But from the grand scheme of things, the price does still have an opportunity to build a higher base, which is what I talked about in yesterday's video. And from that point of view, everything is still bullish. I am gonna be talking about things from a big picture point of view. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you probably had more of a day trader slash flipper, whatever you wanna call yourself, perspective going into the trade. And the reason for that, and while, and this will sound familiar for those of you that watched yesterday's video, and I'm not saying this will happen, but let's say the price actually continued to pull back, went down to 0.0175, behaved in that manner, and then started to work its way back upwards. Now, emphasis on big picture. From the big picture perspective, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have these lows down there. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the overall direction, and they're continuing to progress from the grand scheme of things viewpoint. Once again, I'm well aware that if you are a flipper, day trader, and you bought up there, or you bought right there, then yeah, you don't care about these stair steps, but that's why I try to offer up a warning that I would be commenting from the big picture point of view. So sure, today the price pulled back, but stop and think about that word, today as in one day, looking at multiple days, which is what we're doing here, you can see the price does still have an opportunity to build a higher base, so that'll definitely be priority number one going forward. It's not necessarily breaking levels of resistance at this point, but just going through some health consolidations and building that higher low, so let's see if the bulls can get that job done or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.